When the renowned French art critic and writer Joris Karl Hussmann visited the Stedel Museum in 1905, he enthused over this work. Yes, she's offering her little bouquet, but she's saying, if you accept it, you'd better watch out. The threat is quite clear, her offer dangerous, her love short-lived. But who was this beauty? Who was sitting for Veneto when he painted this portrait? These questions have preoccupied generations of art historians. For Hussmann, there was no doubt. The subject of this brilliant portrait was the infamous Giulia Farnese, mistress of Pope Alexander VI, notorious for her excesses and vices. Or are we really looking at Lucrezia Borgia, as was also believed for many years? Lucrezia Borgia was the illegitimate daughter of Pope Alexander VI and was no less infamous than Giulia Farnese. Today, we know that Veneto never actually intended to paint a portrait of a real person. Instead, he wanted to depict the universal ideal of beauty as propounded in Plato's philosophy. Plato claimed that ideas had ideal forms. We can imitate them, but never directly experience them. And hence, sensual beauty is just a reflection of eternal beauty. Here then, Bartolomeo Veneto has tried to capture the essence of eternal beauty in the guise of a woman with the attributes of Flora, the Roman goddess of spring. The self-confident Renaissance artists placed their skills on a par with poetry, previously ranked far higher as an art form. But if poets describe female beauty in words, painters can do just the same in their medium as well. And they can even transcend the platonic ideal of eternal beauty, since that ideal existed only in the abstract. Renaissance artists considered themselves capable of discerning ideal forms and depicting them visually, an approach making aesthetics the theory of beauty and applied science. 